everyone my name is Jen and welcome to the book refuge and welcome to another recommendations video so before we dive into this one I just have a little bit of business to get through first off this video was voted on by my channel members levels romantic renegade and above um, something that I do I try to do once or twice a month is that when I have a bunch of video ideas I put them into a poll on my community tab and I let the channel members in that level get to choose which video that they are most excited for and which one they would like to sponsor. Um, this is of course one of the levels of my channel memberships. And speaking of channel memberships, we have three new channel members to welcome. I'm sorry that I didn't uh, get to give you guys a shout out before then, but I was traveling this weekend. But it definitely made my heart feel so warm and fuzzy to come home and see that we have three new members. So we do have um, Catherine, who joined at the Dedicated Diva level, Wendy M, who joined at the Faded Friend level, and Haley M, who joined at the Romantic Renegade level. So thank you so much for joining. It means so much to me that you support this channel and you're encouraging me to keep going. And the more of you that I have that are committed to a monthly membership, it just um, helps me to give this you know, I mean, hobby of mine, the time that it deserves, and it also keeps me flush in books. So, thank you. <laughs> but anyway, as you can tell by the title, the video that my channel members voted on was Pirate Romances. So, funny story about this, I didn't think that I had enough to talk about to make a video. It's one of the reasons that I haven't done a pirate video before that. I know that it's something that's super popular. They're usually historicals, most all of them are. I have one that isn't. I would love to know more about modern day pirate romances that you guys have read. Again, I only have one on my list, but I'd love if you had more to point my way because I think modern day pirate, you know, it's usually, I mean, like a lot of these, it's usually a captor captive situation and that makes me pretty happy. But we are going to go ahead, sorry, my hair is just bananas. It's very like Lizzie McGuire today, you know, just the pin because yeah I was traveling back and this is what we ended up with after sitting in the car so there y'all go but anyway um as I was going through my goodreads to see I ended up finding enough for a video so we are good to go actually quite a few that I've read recently which is really fun so let's go ahead we're going to start with the one modern one that I have to talk about and then we'll dive into these historicals which I'm sure a lot of you have heard about but y'all they voted on this video which means I gotta make it and I have as many recs as I can. So here we go. The first one is, this is actually the first book in a trilogy, The Devil in the Deep Blue Sea. The second book is out right now and the third one is still coming. Um, this is a retelling of Poseidon set in modern day. Um, it is about this girl named, let's see what her name is, I can't quite remember, Ashley. Um, this book really reminded me of another book that's on this list, which I'll get to in just a minute. But it is about this girl who she's on vacation with her boyfriend. They end up getting pulled over by these drug people that her boyfriend's involved with and her boyfriend ends up getting shot. So they're going to steal the yacht. She happened to have been hidden, so she jumps overboard and is like clinging to a dinghy. And she floats pretty much all night. And she ends up getting picked up by this man, Poseidon, who has his boat and his pirates. And he's a modern-day pirate. And he quickly finds out who this girl is when he rescues her and realizes that she's worth a lot of money. So she is now his captive. And she's not as safe as she thought she would be. This book has a crazy cliffhanger like I'm just telling you it's only about 200 pages long the second one the deal with the devil like I said recently came out um I would totally understand if you want to wait till all three of the books are out I will give a more full review of the whole series once it is out but this book I dived into because it reminded me of the next book I'm going to talk about when I was reading the synopsis and I'm so glad I read it. When I started it, I didn't know that it was part of a trilogy. So now I'm like really trying to warn people that yes, I know if you read just this book, you're going to get to the end of it and you'll be like, what the fuck, Jen? This has a cliffhanger. I know. I'm telling you, I know. But I also really enjoyed the second one. I think the second one I liked even more than this one just because of the character arc that is happening. And I'm very intrigued to see how it's going to round up. But if you want to read a modern day private romance and you like the idea of like a gods of Olympus retelling, there's this scrumptious man, Poseidon. So then of course the book that I was alluding to that I have been shouting about on this channel for 
almost a year I feel like is Sea of Ruin by Pam Godwin. This is the book that I'm referring to. Parts of this book really reminded me of this one. Um, this one is historically set. It is a um, self-published book by Pam Godwin. It is her like only historical that she's written. I want her to write more. I want her to write more in this world. <laughs> um, on a recent um, interview she did with some of my friends, I believe she mentions that she has other stories to tell in this world. It's just a matter of, you know, time to get there. But this is actually about a female pirate named Bennett. Guys, this cover, it's beautiful. Um, she is a young pirate. Um, there's a lot of trigger warnings in this, by the way. <laughs> like, if you think of a trigger warning, it's in this book. Um, but she actually has a husband. Her and her husband are on the outs from each other. They have this crazy thing going back and forth with each other. They're both wanted pirates. She's actually the daughter of a pirate who was famous, and now she's famous herself. Bennett is a badass bitch, guys. She's amazing. She ends up getting captured by a pirate named Ashley, right? Which is why, like, the female's name is Ashley in this book. And this guy's name is Ashley Cutler, and he's a pirate hunter. And he gets a hold of Bennett, and he is planning to take her, um, planning to take her back to England and have her hung for her crimes. Bennett knows her only chance is to make this man fall in love with her. So they begin kind of this battle of sexuality between the two of them. And her husband, who she's on the outs with, he may or may not play a part of how this journey will end for everyone. But I freaking love this book. Um, it's one of my favorite books like I've ever read. Honestly, it is. I always come back to it. It just, mm. but check out the trigger warnings. They do exist. There's non-consensual situations. There is like, there's torture. There is uh, attempted assault. There's actual assault. Like there's a lot of things happening in this book, but the journey that it takes you on is unparalleled in my opinion. All right, now we're just diving into some awesome historicals. I have one other self-pub one I want to talk about real quick, and that is actually um, Kidnapped by the Pirate, and this is by Kira Andrews. I read this recently. This is a male-male pirate romance. Um, it's also an age gap. It's also like a grumpy sunshine story. Um, it is about this young man named Nathaniel. He's on the way to his father's, like, um, island plantation where his dad's the governor and he's on his way there to an arranged marriage when him and his older sister get kidnapped by pirates and so in exchange for him staying there and waiting for his father to pay the ransom his sister is sent on ahead and he ends up staying there now the pirate of this ship his name is Hawk and he has a grudge that he's holding against Nathaniel's father because Nathaniel's father actually took away his letter of mark which meant that it took him from being a privateer to being an illegal pirate and basically ruined his life um, this is also already a gay pirate he has had male lovers in the past it's not something he really like shouts from the rooftops or anything but it's like kind of known Nathaniel has always had feelings towards men but he's never been with a man or a woman he only just has this inkling that he likes men and being in close quarters with his captain helps things start to happen this one actually doesn't have anything non-consensual in it okay this one also reminds me of sea and ruin quite a bit just to do with that like kidnapping aspect but again this is still a really sweet romance for being within a pirate situation like this was very sweet. I gave it five stars. I loved it. All right, then we have Lady Pirate by Lindsay Sands. This is another female pirate, although she's been undercover as a man. Um, when their parents died, her brother was a pirate and she was his like under him and she always dressed like a boy. And then when her brother died, she took over being the pirate. Um, and now there is an inheritance that she's supposed to come into, but there's this rule that she needs to be married and have a child by the time she reaches the age of 30 or something for her to have that. Um, it just so happens that the same lawyer who drew up that rule for her also drew up a rule that, uh, da, 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 what's his name? What's his name? That I don't see what it is. What's the guy's name? Daniel. Daniel. He also has to get married and, and have an heir by the time he reaches a certain age to get his. So I wasn't a huge fan of this book. Um, but Lindsay Sands, like it is a, it is a fun story. Um, and I think that this could be great if you, you know, 
if you want. If you already love Lindsay Sands, you know what you're getting into with her. This could be a great time. I am finding I'm like not a fan of Lindsay Sands so much because I think that her female characters tend to be stupid, too stupid to live. Like I'm just, I'm telling you, for her to have been a pirate and been in charge for so long and then to make some of the decisions that she makes, I'm not quite here for it. But the audiobook was pretty fun and give this a try if you want to. I needed to put all the pirates I've been on this list. So there we go. Um, then we have The Duke with the Dragon Tattoo by Carolyn Byrne. This is about the Rook, who is a pirate who's kind of been terrorizing the seas. Um, this book is hard to talk about because this is the sixth book in a series, the fifth or sixth book in a series. And we have slowly been hearing about the Rook through a few of them. And he is a man who doesn't fully remember his past. He is a man that a lot of men have been looking for, but he doesn't know that people are looking for him because he doesn't remember his past. On Laura, on the day of Lorelai's birthday, she gets kid not birthday, wedding day. She gets kidnapped from her wedding and she gets stolen by the Rook because of reasons and they want to use her to, he wants to use her to get his revenge. That's all I can really say. I know I'm a bit tang tangled up. Um, I believe you could, like, you could read this out of order if you wanted to, right? The reason why I say not to is that the series, the Victorian Rebel series is so good that I feel like it's not a waste of your time for you to read all the other books to get to this one. But if you want to just read this because you want to read the pirate stuff, I get it. I get it, okay? This was the first one that I heard about. I actually heard about this one before I heard about the High Women. But then, so I listened to a couple podcasts about this book, but then I went back and read the High Women and read all the way through. And by the time I got to this book, I'd forgotten a lot of that stuff anyway. That happens to me. Um, but yeah, this one's good. Then there is Scandalous Desires <clears throat> by Elizabeth Hoyt. Here we go, full page. Yes, this tub scene exists, and it's a good one. This one is about a pirate named Charming Mickey, um, and there is Silence uh, Hollingsbrook, who Mickey kind of ruined her marriage, okay? So her husband was a, is a captain, and he ended up having all of his stuff stolen, and Charming Mickey had stolen it because the her husband as the captain like wasn't paying his tithe to mickey who kind of owns the harbor and like owns the harbor of saint giles right um this is book three in the maiden lane series by the way I, I highly recommend you read this series in order as well um i'll be putting together soon a video about all of the maiden lane because i'm almost done with this series and this series has blown my mind but but um if you were going to dive in someplace, I think you could probably dive into this one because anything that's pertinent to this story, we talk it gets talked about within this story. But anyway, um, Charming Mickey kind of ruined her marriage because as like payment for Mickey returning all of her of the her husband's uh, cargo, he keeps her with him for one night. Um, he doesn't do anything to her, but make her sleep in his bed beside him and then sends her home. But of course her husband doesn't believe that nothing happened. And so a few years down the road, her husband is gone now. He's died and Mickey hasn't forgot about silence. So that's what I'll say. I like this. It was a bit of a beauty and the beast retelling to me. Um, she ends up staying at his like castle and like his servants and his men all really like her. And so they'll like sneak her things behind his back. And then, yeah, there's this tub scene and like, I just, I really loved Mickey. I loved this book so much. And he, during this book, isn't really doing much high seas stuff. He really is just kind of like the boss in charge of everything, but he definitely did start as the pirate and doing the dirty work himself. And now he's kind of like higher than that because he's like the Lord who has it all. Um, but this is such a good book. Let me make sure I'm getting all of these. 
yeah, and I think the, the last one I have to talk about here is a Julia Quinn book. So this is called The Other Miss Bridgerton. This is book three in the Bridgerton sequel series. It's also called, um, it's also called like the Bevel Stokes, not the Bevel Stokes series, the Rokesby series is what it also is called. So this one is about Poppy Bridgerton. So this is, Poppy is going to be the aunt to all the Bridgertons. Okay, if that makes sense. So like Anthony, Bennett, all of them, she's gonna be an aunt. So this is the dad's sister, Poppy. Um, and then there's C Captain Andrew James Rokesby, who I believe like he is like a privateer. So he's not fully a pirate, but he's like, he's like in disguise as a pirate, even though he's a privateer, if that makes sense. So he's on a mission for the British government, but he's like under, like, but he's pretending to be a pirate to do it. She ends up being in the wrong place at the wrong time and to keep her from talking about it. So he doesn't know that this is Poppy, even though like the Rokesby's and the Bridgertons are neighbors. So his men just know that this woman overheard something that could get them all in trouble. So they kidnap her and bring her to a ship. And so she has to go on the trip to Portugal with him because it's time sensitive. Like she ends up on his ship. And by the time he finds out that this is Poppy Bridgerton and someone that like <laughs> he knows she has to go with so this was kind of an interesting one and it's julia quinn so it's delightful all right there we go that is all of the pirate romances that i have to share with you i told you i didn't have a ton of those i would love to hear some of your favorites i actually own a ton of pirate romances is the thing because I collect them. They're beautiful. I want them. I just haven't read them. So I'd love to hear what your favorites are. Again, thank you to the new channel members. Thank you to my current channel members for voting on this topic. If you were interested in that, you could check out the link in the description. It will explain what the channel memberships are. If you would like to support me in that way monthly, they're pretty low level things because I just wanted you to be able to help me without it breaking the bank. So anyway, that was random. I hate pitching myself, but there it is. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to check out more if you want to see them and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.